Graphs of waves. You should be familiar with the values of sine and cosine between 0 and 2 pi from the unit circle. In this lesson, we will draw an accurate graph of the functions y equals sine of x and y equals cosine of x. The graphs of y equals sine of x and y equals cosine of x are known as waves. There is a strong connection between the graph of the sine or cosine function and the waves you see rippling in a body of water. But that is a lesson in physics, so we won't discuss it here. We will graph y equals sine of x and y equals cosine of x using the special values from the unit circle. We will graph each wave from 0 to 360 degrees and later from 0 to 2 pi, and then rely on the fact that the values of these functions repeat. We begin by marking the x-axis at 360 degrees. If you are doing this on your own graph paper, I suggest that you place the mark for 360 degrees 24 boxes away from the origin. I'll explain why I picked the number 24 in a moment. The section from 0 to 360 represents one trip around the unit circle. Now let's place some other values on the x-axis. The unit circle is broken into four quadrants, so we will divide the x-axis into four equal parts of 90 degrees each. If you're using the graph paper with 24 boxes, then 90 degrees will be at the sixth box. The largest and smallest values of the sine function are 1 and negative 1 respectively. So I will place 10 tick marks above and below the axis with the top and bottom marks at 1 and negative 1 respectively. The sine of 90 degrees is 1, the sine of 270 degrees is negative 1, and the sine of 0, 180, and 360 are all 0, so I will place those five points on the graph. Next, we will place points corresponding to the 30, 60, 90 triangle. 30 degrees is one third of 90 degrees. If you use the graph paper with 24 boxes, you place 90 degrees at the sixth box, so 30 degrees will be at the second box. The sine of 30 degrees is one half, as is the sine of 150 degrees, while the sine of 210 and 330 is negative one half, so let's place those points. The sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2, which is approximately 0.866, so we can place the points for 60, 120, 240, and 300. Finally, we will place the points corresponding to the 45, 45, 90 triangle. If you are using the graph paper with 24 boxes, the mark for 45 degrees will be at the third box. This is the smallest gap, the gap between 30 degrees and 45 degrees. It is 15 degrees. 360 divided by 15 is 24, so that's why I chose 24 boxes. If the x-axis is marked every 15 degrees, we will hit all of our special points. The sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2, which is approximately 0 0.707. So we can place the points for 45, 135, 225, and 315. We can then connect the dots to form the graph. If you wish to carry on beyond 360 degrees, you can repeat the points you have already placed in the same 24 box pattern. We can also do this problem in radians. A full circle is 2 pi, cut into 4 equal parts of pi over 2. Each pi over 2 is cut into 3 equal parts of pi over 6. We can then count by pi over 6. 2 pi over 6 is pi over 3. 3 pi over 6 is pi over 2, which was already labeled. 4 pi over 6 is 2 pi over 3. 5 pi over 6. 6 pi over 6 is pi. 7 pi over 6, 8 pi over 6 is 4 pi over 3, 9 pi over 6 is 3 pi over 2, 10 pi over 6 is 5 pi over 3, and finally 11 pi over 6 before reaching 12 pi over 6, which is 2 pi. We can then cut pi over 2 in half to get pi over 4. 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 
4 pi over 4, which is pi, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4, and finally 8 pi over 4, which is 2 pi. We can then expand the graph by realizing that the graph will repeat every 2 pi. We can repeat this procedure for y equals cosine of x. We reach the maximum of 1 at 0 and 360 and the minimum of negative 1 at 180. The value will be plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2 at 30, 150, 210, and 330, plus or minus 1 half at 60, 120, 240, and 300, plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2 at 45, 135, 225, and 315. We can then connect the dots and continue to draw multiple waves. Here are both graphs together. You may notice that the two graphs look the same except that the sine wave is the cosine wave shifted to the right. The peaks and valleys repeat the same top, middle, bottom, middle, top pattern just at different locations. To recap, y equals a sine of x crosses the x-axis at 0, pi, 2 pi, etc., reaches the top of a wave at pi over 2, and again every 2 pi after that, and reaches the bottom of a wave at 3 pi over 2, and again every 2 pi after that. y equals the cosine of x crosses the x-axis at the odd multiples of pi over 2, starts at the top of a wave at 0, and again every 2 pi after that, and reaches the bottom of a wave at pi, and again every 2 pi after that.